Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad takes oath as the third Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur. Bomb hoax claims by passenger creates panic at Impala International Airport. Flight delays by three hours. GCLPS bans non-locals from entering Manipur from tomorrow, boycotts national leaders of political parties. And BJP MLA Biswajit describes the recent promotion of some police officers as poll-oriented promotion. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Laitama Monica bringing you the top stories. Acting Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur, Rakesh Ranjan Prasad, took oath as Chief Justice today. Governor Najma Habdullah administered the oath of office and secrecy to the new Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur at Raj Bhavan Darwarhul. Rakesh Ranjan Prasad is the third Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur, first being Abhay Manohar, followed by Lakshmikant Mohapatra. In February 2016, Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad was transferred from Jharkhand High Court to High Court of Manipur. The swearing-in ceremony was attended by Chief Minister Ukrami Bobi Singh, his cabinet colleagues, Chief Secretary, top civil and police officials along with High Court of Manipur officials. Speaking to media persons, Chief Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad said it is necessary to spread legal awareness among the masses as majority of people are not aware of their legal rights. The people doesn't know where the, whether they do have a right or not. Unless you will make it aware that you do have this right which is being infringed, only then when awareness would be brought to the general people, we can reach out to every person who is suffering from this. The other thing is that uh, my priority would be that uh, old cases an Air Asia flight ha from Imphal to Delhi via Guwahati was delayed by almost three hours after a passenger claimed that he had a bomb with him. Robinson Pauta from Senapati district, who was a passenger of Air Asia flight number IF-784, allegedly told the security personnel who was checking his boarding pass that he had a bomb with him. The incident occurred around 11.30 this morning. Director of Imphal Terminal Airport S.K. Palin Rai said after Robinson threatened that he had a bomb, all the passengers who had already boarded the plane were asked to disembark the plane with their luggage for rechecking. The search continued for nearly three hours to avoid danger to the passengers. The flight took off after the threat was a hoax. Robinson Pauta and two other passengers were handed over to Singjome Police Station for further verification. We take it seriously because uh, it involves uh, risk to a passenger's life and uh, loss to uh, aircraft. So we take it seriously. Even the passengers, uh, they are uh, uh, doing this, uh, which is putting all the passengers uh, in uh, into inconvenience. And uh, they are also missing the connecting flights at different uh, destinations. But uh, we cannot ignore uh, such calls and such informations. So we have defined uh, our uh, procedures to undertake uh, the checks. And then only we, after undertaking the checks, when we are satisfied, then only we give clearance certificate for aircraft departure. Sure. Robinson Pauta said he jokingly told the security personnel that he would place a bomb in his pocket if the checking of boarding pass check was not done fast. He said he did not claim that he had a bomb with him. If you are not going, I am going to put a bomb. I was joking like this, okay. clapping on my uh, thigh and I was joking like that. That's the only reason. Even not me, behind me, everyone is joking. Uh, go fast, go fast, push, push, push. Then I was, unfortunately, I just tell her that if you are not going fast, I'm going to put a job, uh, I'm going to put a bomb. Okay. I just club in on my thigh and okay, say that. Okay, okay. 
post ban on non-locals from entering the state from tomorrow. The move comes after government failed to introduce a bill to protect the indigenous people in the state assembly. It may be recalled that the JCILPS had served an ultimatum to the government to introduce a bill by September 21, which the government failed. JCILPS has also decided to boycott national leaders of all the political party visiting the state. Addressing media persons at JCILPS office, convener in charge BK Moirang just said the decision is not anti-India nor anti-non-local. He said the steps have been taken to save the indigenous people of the state. BK Moirang just said from tomorrow the non-local street vendors without license will also be banned. However, non-local students and non-local government officials are exempted from the purview of the ban. BK Moirang Chak cautioned the government that in case if it fails to introduce the bill in the next seven days, they will impose curfew at government offices, storm MLA residences and intensify agitation. Mapalam de Sangpa, Nan Manipuri Singh, Hayang Tang Kulum Doidegi, Hauraga, Manipur Sangpa, Ating Batamla, Boat Maya Yoropa Matam Sida, Nesson Polgan Party Singh, Lucing Bama, the member Singh, Manipur Lakpada, Boycott Tore, Amid the Ating Batamla, the Numitereni Pauda, Gamena, Assembly Pamduna, Bill Pass, the Unabi Pirip, Lok Travadi. Gamen Gilo Sang Singh, Karfu Tamba, Emily Minister Singh, Yum the Miam, Tomduna, Masa Masagi, Pirip, Lokto and Minit Singba. Tongan Tongan ba makal makha kaya gi kongjang singchu sanction ba hau nena vidha makta ay koi same sadhu nai re political party khuding makna magi magi manifesto phongo matamda ILP ki matangda magi magi vibar chap chaba phirep ama mayek shengna yahon gedavani amadi miam da khangan gedavani. On the other hand, JCLPS Women's Wing convener in charge T H Apabi condemned the police for preventing them from meeting Governor Dr. Najma Habtala today. Four JCLPS Women's Wing representatives were selected to meet the governor when they tried to storm the Rajbhavan this afternoon. The members could not meet the governor as they did not have the appointment. <laughs> Ngai ra kan da mo koi na unju unah halak tre mo koi ki ha na mo mo nanti da bani na ha na si kanu appointment lau da bani na hai da na koi unah halak tre ba masi makti mani pu police amadi a koi ki governor bu woman na skui matik pen de strongly kandem tawi lo na na matung tarak pada asi gu mat hong se ngam biri oi da bo oi ra gadi mani pu police a koi bu diten tawi ganu hai eng se a koi governor unah na bida makta same sabal oi jare kari gu masi da. I think the people of the Manipur, the ILPS, the women's swing, and the Miyangi, the Hulzik, Kangna, the Tabakta, the Hulzik, the Hulzik, the Hulzik, the Hulzik. JCLPS Women's Wing members today tried to storm the Raj Bhavan. A large number of women who were marching from Kaisampa Junction towards Raj Bhavan were stopped near the junction by police personnel on their way to meet the governor, Dr. Najma Habtala. Some women ran towards Raj Bhavan but were stopped by police near the Directorate of Higher Education. But after some heated argument, four representatives were allowed to meet the governor. Speaking to media persons, JCILPS Women's Wing member Momon Lema said the agitation demanding in a line permit system has been going on for a long time. He said JCILPS Women's Wing member will inform the governor regarding the problems facing the state. Eight associations of Tangta blamed of malpractice in the recruitment of Tangta teachers for the Tangta Department of Manipur University of Culture. Speaking to media persons, Moirang Thim Rajain, a candidate of Tangta teacher, said interview for the recruitment of four Tangta teachers was held on July 31 and the result was out on the 17th of this month. He alleged that the four candidates were selected without conducting practical. Tongju MLA TH Biswajit today termed the promotion of some officers of the police department as election-oriented for a promotion. The MLA made the statement at the inauguration of the 43 Pungyar ST Mandal office at Stankul Avenue, Chiang Mai Rong. MLA Biswajit, who was the chief guest on the occasion, accused the government of giving promotion to police officers violating rules and regulations. He alleged that the governor has promoted Government has uh, promoted SP to DIG before he completed 14 years as SP. Biswajit said the government is holding recruitments despite the financial crunch facing the state.
Andro Kendra Muslim Development Committee slammed the reports of September 20, stating that the majority of Muslims will vote the BJP. Upliftment Committee Andro President Mohammad Pakharuddin had told media persons that around 8,000 to 9,000 Muslim voters of Andro will vote for BJP in the upcoming assembly elections. Regarding the media report, a public meeting was also held today at the residence of Andro Kendra Muslim Development Committee Chief Advisor Kamar N. Chadang. Chagam Dabi and Andro attended by the locals. Andro Kendra Muslim Development Committee Assistant Secretary Mustan Salam condemns the statement of Muhammad Pakaruddin and set him to clarify at the earliest. A team of Chhattisgarh Legislative Assembly Press Gallery Advisory Committee comprising of 22 members arrived in Nimphal on a two-day visit today. A briefing was held at the committee room assembly with national and state media persons on Chhattisgarh Legislative Assembly and Manipur Legislative Assembly reporting. Speaking to media persons, team leader of Chhattisgarh Legislative Assembly Press Gallery Advisory Committee, Babulal Sarma emphasized the setting up of a press advisory committee of Manipur Legislative Assembly at the earliest. He said the committee members visit different states of the country and foreign countries to meet their journalists under the initiative of Chhattisgarh government. The team comprised the assembly building for showcasing the cultures of all the communities living in the state. President of Manipur Pradesh Trinamul Congress T. Robindro stated that the four MLAs from the party who joined the Indian National Congress did not inform the party that they wanted to resign. In a press meet today, Robindro said the MLAs did not inform the General Secretary of the decision. He drew the attention of the Speaker to look into the matter. One-day orientation workshop on Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act for journalists was held at Manipur Press Club today. Speaking at a workshop organized by Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Department Director Dr. K. Sham Sundar said the workshop is organized with an aim to raise awareness of the welfare programs launched under the scheme through media. He said new schemes had been introduced and the department is planning to provide the benefits of the schemes to the people. He also said the works taken under the scheme should be performed by men and asked the people to inform if machines are used. All Manipur Elementary School Teachers Association appealed to the state cabinet to dissolve the resolution taken on the 20th of August to reject the qualification scale for 1,786 elementary teachers. The association resolved to agitate if the cabinet does not review the set resolution in 10 days at a meeting held in Manipur Press Club today. Speaking to media persons, General Secretary of the Association CH Santa Kumar condemned the governor's mo government's movement to downgrade the teachers who have served for more than 50 years. Old Manipur Handicapped Welfare Association distributed food items and red roses to cancer patients of radiotherapy ward on occasion of National Cancer Rose Day. Patients appreciated the effort of Man Old Manipur Handicapped Welfare Association. The patients requested the government to make policy for them. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Lengthen birau, lengthen birau. Thangwadan Jam College Road to Leiba, Eastern Suzuki da. Fang biragani Suzuki ki gari macha sing makhal suna. Mafam sida Suzuki da train tarba mechanic sing na. Ningti na service piri ba servicing center ki kudong chava amasung spare part sing MRP rate ta fang birani. Loi na na irai line na loan lowe ya bagi kudong chava supi zari. Ngasi mag lengthen birau, Eastern Suzuki, Thangwadan Jam College Road, Imphal, Manipur. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Directorate of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry is all set to market the first phase of duckling and chicken hatched at the duck farm Lumfell Part using hatchery machine at discount. 
Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Minister Govindas Kontosam said the government will make the duckling and chicken available to the public. He said if the duckling and chicken were produced regularly, the problem of unemployment will be solved to some extent. He also said the poultry farm being set up at Kumbong and Ningtokong will begin functioning and produce chicken within a year. Rotary Club of Polo City Imphal organized teach program at National Children's School in Kongman, Zone 4, Imphal East. The club also distributed items like e-learning kits containing projector, screen and study materials to the school. The club also honored Suresh Mangang with Nation Builders Award. It also announced the names of 14 students selected for child development sponsorship. Higher Education and Administrative Officer R.K. Roji, members of Rotary Club of Polo City Imphal, teachers and students attended the function. Eclipse Month observed by all Kangli Park Students Union Aksu from September 21 to October 10 kicked off today at Lamding High School. In a press release, Aksu said social service, public meeting, patriotic song, recitation and debating competition will be organized during the observation. Three persons were arrested for stealing solar lamp batteries around 4.30 p.m. at Lilong Bazaar near Arabdi, Hong Kong. They were caught during frisking conducted by a team of Lilong Police Station led by officer in charge T. Banka. Three persons travelling in an octoric show bearing registration number MN01Q1224 were caught along with six stolen solar lamp batteries. The driver has been identified as Muhammad Salman, 18 years, son of Muhammad Rahman of Hatta Golapati, Muhammad Arif Khan, alias Naha, age 18, son of Muhammad Chaubo of Yairipok Taupokpi, at present staying at Hatta Golapati, and Muhammad Rafi, age 20, son of Muhammad Bahadur of Paura Yangbi, at present staying at Hatta Golapati. After interrogation, another eight batteries were recovered from the area near Arabdi Tongkong area. Altogether, 14 batteries were recovered. People today held protest at Thangmiban against the abusive language used by the people from Singjumai to women of Thangmiban. The protesters alleged that people from Singjumai hurled abuses at the women from Thangmiban, while the three accused in the deaths of Yaipaba Mutum from Singjumai were produced in the court yesterday. Women of Thangmiban, Lorungpure Lekai and Kambrambam Lekai held the sit-in and displayed placards that read, Thoi Hen and Thoi Sun were not involved in the murder of Yaipaba Mutum released the arrested persons. Laurimbam Mayai Leka Youth Ally Club in a press release urged authority concern to fill in the holes dug up on the roadsides in Laurimbam in Bishtapur district for black topping of the road. It said the holes have become breeding places for mosquitoes and also causes accidents. Aryan Theatre, which is one of the oldest theatres in Manipur, today celebrated the Platinum Jubilee and the 81st Foundation Day. State-level seminar on Arambam Samarendra was held on the occasion. The third and fourth volumes of Arambam Samarendra's Khorjai was also released. Vice-Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture, Professor N. Khagendra, Aryan Theatre President Lokendra Arambam and Saitya Sevak Hizam Romoni were among others who attended the event. Two new productions of Naharul Kongtang Artists Association were held were launched today at an event held at Iboyama Sumanglila Sangland. The play is named Social Worker and Thamamba Ahingi Thabale will be directed by renowned director Ware Panaba. In sports, India is out of the 17th AFC and the 16th Boys Football Championship. Iran defeated host India 3-0 in the last league match of Group A played at Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru Football Stadium in Margao, Goa. With this, in Iran has entered the quarterfinals. It may be recalled that United Arab Emirates have defeated India 3-2 in the first match. In the second encounter, India drew the match with Saudi Arabia 3-3. India have participated in the championship for seven times and they have 
entered the quarterfinals in 2002. 16 teams are participating in the championship, which kicked off on September 14. UPSA Pukau defeated YOSC Krai 2-1 in a league match of Maharaj Kumar Ganindrajit Memorial Super Division Football League Tournament at ABA Khetrigao Ground. UPSA Pukau's L. Kiran scored the goals in the 5th and 68th minute of the match. YOSC Krai's lone goal was nated by Pizad of in the 80 plus no minute. Two league matches of the tournament will be played tomorrow at Kumala Park Artificial Turf Ground. The annual sports meet of Don Bosco School Mori, which began on the 19th of this month, concluded today. The closing event was held at the playground of Mori Eastern Shine School and prizes were presented to the students. Manipur Police Sports Club have won the 13th L Suniti Bala Devi Memorial Senior Women's Football League Tournament. In the final league match played at SKYC Sekmai Ground, Manipur Police Sports Club defeated Kripsha Naurem Thong 2-1 to win the championship. In a match of M. Ibovi Memorial First Division Football League Tournament, SSC Porompant defeated Star Club Morang Kampu 2-0. Naubi and Azimuddin netted the winning goals for SSC Porompant in the 45th and the 50th minute of the match. The tournament is organized by Imphalis District Football Association. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad takes oath as the third Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur. Bomb hawks claimed by passenger creates panic at Imphal International Airport, flight delayed by three hours. JCILTS bans non-locals from entering Manipur from tomorrow, boycotts national leaders of political parties. And BJP MLA Vishwajit describes the recent promotion of some police officers as poll-oriented promotions.